We'll have a look at this. Isn't this the ideal position? Here we are down on Inskip Point in Queensland, Fraser Island just across the way. Kids playing, they've been out fishing in the boats, playing in the shallows. Beautiful campsite right down on the sand. This is what camping is all about. This is the way to get away. It's pretty warm down here, I must say. We've been doing a bit of work, I'm a bit sweaty, but I'm not gonna take my shirt off on you. And I'm down here with one of the pinnacles of camper trailer industry. This is the Altitude Camper's new Alpine 1400. It's beautiful. It's a lovely, lovely camper. This is the, uh, the hybrid camper that's going to suit a serious tourer. Probably uh, a couple, a serious couple. There is options that you can put into it uh, if you're bringing the kids along as well, but you know, a serious couple going, going touring. It's got great big capacity, uh, plenty of payload. There's plenty of room and storage. One thing in particular that I really must comment on is the amount of storage in here. And it's not just one big box or two big boxes that you throw everything in. There's a whole heap of drawers and cabinets and, uh, and even like a little wardrobe opening up as well. So, you know, there's somewhere for your jocks and socks. There's somewhere for your pots and pans. There is a place for everything and everything in its place. There's plenty of room. It's on a good solid off-road uh, trailer. Cruise master suspension, just unquestionable. Very, very solid all round. Uh, and of course, DO35 towing coupling as well. But importantly, I was towing behind it or traveling behind it before. Its recovery angle and its ground clearance is spectacular. Plenty of room if you're gonna go down that really rough track, you're gonna be able to walk down it and back out more importantly. All the usuals, we've got the Evercool uh, dual zone fridge up front, that's an 85 litre. Stainless steel pull out kitchen, it's a ripper I must say. Um, easy, easy access. This one's got the option of a remote control lift and of course the wind out annex as well. So to me, that's just ideal for touring on the road. Plenty of shade, but ease as well. The, the, the um, annex uh, lift is an option, so you can have it with or without if you like. Up inside there is just glorious. The internals of this camper are just beautiful. It's going to suit anyone who wants a bit of comfort while they're traveling. Got plenty of facility in there, beautiful big double bed, ton of storage, plenty of bench space, but most important, a really big comfortable bed that's easy to access. There's a dual little settee as well with, a, with an adjustable table for having an inside uh, game of cards or your meal if it's inclement weather. And the beauty that's gonna be a really big hit with this one is there's a really well-proportioned little um, bathroom in there as well with a good toilet system and a shower all enclosed. So you've got a complete mobile unit, doesn't weigh too much, doesn't weigh too little, plenty of water capacity, a ton of power, ton of charging, altitude, you've done it all. This is one of their new range of hybrid campers and I look forward to seeing the rest of them. Well done, Mr. Altitude.